Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences bringing you Monday Minute. Why would you use the single line tool in X Lights over the polyline tool? I mean, let's face it, the polyline tool does some pretty cool stuff and it's designed by one of the greatest devs ever known, Gil Jones. But why would I not use it? This is why. All right. So, not to take away from Gil's brilliant work, uh, there is a, a particular reason why I still use the single line tool. That's this guy right here. Single line model versus the polyline. Why would I use the polyline? Well, I would definitely use it in a doorway like I have here. Definitely do that. By the way, uh, if people tell you to use the window model for the doorway, and just simply get rid of the bottom number of nodes by zero, and you get, whoop, let's do it again. You gotta click outside or click enter. Uh, don't do that, I'm just gonna tell you right now, do not make your doorway with a window. No, you're gonna run into problems. Just from my experience, don't do that. Use the polyline. But when it comes to outlining your home, which this is about, especially for the new folks coming into the hobby, my suggestion is to consider using the single line tool and here's why i have an outline here of eaves and verts i've put these in groups i have specific numbers of nodes which i promise you will change by the time you put the pixels on your home something's going to be off by at least one two three maybe more maybe less but the idea is how do we make this easy so we're not modifying these submodel groups? Why do we have submodel groups? Because a lot of the sequencing that you may do or the shares that you may find or the sequences you may procure through paying uh, are gonna have a lot of effects at the submodel groups. That's what this is. So we look at the eaves group over here, we can see that that has selected all of the eaves groups. Yay, okay, that's cool. Uh, what happens if I change a node in any of these? If this was not 100 nodes, but it was 98 nodes, as it fits on the home, uh, has there been any impact to the submodel group? None. Not at all. Uh, all you have to do is make sure you render and save, and everything catches up, and you're all good to go. Uh, however, when we do the same thing with the polyline, it's a different story. So I'm gonna click on the polyline tool and I'm gonna drag up and each time at a corner, I'm clicking the left mouse button so I can outline this home. And I see people doing this every year and it, it, it can certainly work, but it takes more maintenance, okay? And I know that's not 50 nodes, so I'm gonna change this to 450 nodes, great. And there's my seven segments. I can scroll down here. Again, this does offer you some of the cool features like many other models. And that is assigning individual nodes to start with. In other words, if I have three strings, as I have told X Lights to make this model, I wanna plug it in through three controller outputs. Uh, I can tell it where that should start. If I want this to start on 201, and then this one to start on 401, I have that choice. Or the 301, and, and the idea behind this is to make it so you're not having to splice in cables and creating pigtails unnecessarily for something as simple as this. Uh, this makes for uh, a speedier setup. Okay, so I've got my number of nodes, my number of strings defined. Now I wanna go in here and look at my individual segments because the individual segments, if I click on this little Chevron button here, It'll drop them down, and this is what X Lights is taking a stab at. This is what it thinks these might be, each of these segments. And they're not gonna be accurate, I'm sure. So I can change these here, but here's the rub. Each one of these segments, I need to be in that submodel group. And this doesn't offer me an easy way to do it, other than going to the submodels and defining um, a submodel for this, right? I can click on add. I can call this uh, vert one. 
And now I have to go over here and I have to select all of these that might be, you know, vert one. There we go. And then I have to do that with each Eve section and all the other verts. I have to do this seven times to define what that submodel is going to be. And at that point, then I can put those submodels in the submodel group called Eve's groups or verts group, and I'm good to go. Well, I've already told you that. Your pixel count in X lights versus what goes on your home are probably going to be two different things. Inevitably, something's going to be off. So guess what you have to do when you're off by that pixel count? You have to go back into the submodel group and you have to redefine that. And that I find that cumbersome. What I would love to see from the polyline tool is the ability that instead of seeing this vert submodel here that I define, is that when I click on the chevron in the polyline, it simply lists the segments defined here, segment one through seven. If we could get these segments to show up under the chevron here in polyline, then I could select the segments needed for the eaves and verts. And then I would, I think I'd probably just switch to using polyline at that point. But for the time being, the single line model works for me. Please keep in mind that this is just what works for my workflow and most of the things I work on project wise because it's quick and clean and it guarantees the correct number of nodes each time in my submodel groups, no matter how many nodes I take away or add to it. And that's very important for time management. All right. Folks, I hope these videos are impactful. I hope they're helping you. Uh, please smash that thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel because it absolutely helps. And I look forward to seeing you next time. This has been Monday Minute. See ya.